Question three, we've got a girl climbing a rope. And the girl of mass 60 kilograms uses 5,100 joules of energy when she climbs a vertical rope, presumably climbing it vertically upwards. Calculate the maximum height it would be possible for the girl to reach. Okay, well, uh, since we're dealing with energy, it's, a, it's probably a good idea to look at energy equations which link uh, height and energy. So gravitational potential energy is the um, most obvious one, EP grav. I'll just leave the grav out because it's hard to draw subscripts with this stylus. Um, is mass times gravity times the change in height. Um, so we know the energy is 5,100 joules. We know the mass of the girl is 60 kilograms. And, for uh, and the gravitational constant in this case, uh, acceleration due to gravity or um, the uh, newtons per kilogram, the force per mass, uh, is 10. Um, and so a change in height we're trying to find out. Rearrange for delta H equals uh, 5,100 divided by mg, which is 60 times by 10. So 5,100 divided by 600 gives you 8.5 meters. So just going back, we've calculated the height up the rope that should move based on the gravitational potential energy gained. Okay, so there's a gain in gravitational potential energy between the two places, um, and uh, you've moved a particular mass, and you've used that to calculate um, using this equation to find that height. Anyway, moving on, B. In reality, the girl reaches a height of only 8 metres. Explain why the energy used by the girl during the climb does not equal the work she does to reach the vertical height of 8 metres. And in our answer, we should consider all of these things. But first up, um, there's an energy difference between the energy she puts in. Um, so this is the energy... Uh, of the girl, okay, that she puts in, um, that'll equal the gravitational potential energy gained plus the energy that's lost um, through the inefficiencies of the working of the body and all that kind of stuff. So um, the energy is actually likely to be disappearing and heating up uh, the muscles in her body because as you do exercise, you're not only doing things like moving rocks or or throwing balls or hitting stuff, you're also heating up your body. There's heat as that byproduct. So that's one large possible energy loss. Um, so we'll come back to that. Um, that's just giving the overview. In our answer, we should name the type of energy the girl has when she is 8 meters above the ground. So let's, let's just call these A. Um, that type of energy, A, is gravitational potential energy. Okay, gravitational potential energy. <clears throat> um, calculate the work done to reach a height of 8 meters above the ground. Okay, there's actually two ways we could do this and they amount to the same thing. Remember work done is force times distance. Um, the force applied will be her mass times by gravity. So that's, that's that. And the distance is our 8 meters. So uh, 60 times by 10 times by 8, um, which will equal 4,800. And the units of work is energy converted, um, which is joules. Okay, now, the other formula we could use is just using um, the, the gravitational potential energy gained, because that's the amount of work that has been done. Um, so that would be EP, which equals mg change in height. And you'll notice mg is the force, so that's just the force applied, and then h is the distance, so it matches up to that work formula, which is very cool. Okay, uh, calculate the difference between the work done and the energy used by the girl. Well, uh, the work done um, and the energy used by the girl, remember up the top, let's go back up, it said 5,100 joules of energy, which is right there, but the work done by the girl was only, uh, or the work done, uh, well this was the work done anyway, 4,800. 
Um, and and so the difference between there is 5,100 minus 4,800 equals 300 joules was the difference. And then explain where the missing energy has gone and why this occurs. We talked about it when we looked at this energy loss through here. But let's just state it for the sake of our answer. Um, the missing energy has gone through probably heat um, in, in, and uh, in the muscles of the girl. And there might be um, losses of energy um, heating up the rope and friction um, and so forth. Maybe you're working against air resistance and you're applying force and you've got a loss of energy to overcome that as well. All sorts of ideas, but this is the main one, the heat in the muscles.